Ladies and gentlemen, the revelation by the control of budgets yesterday was extremely shocking, astonishing, inconceivable, and simply depressing. Stealing over 15 billion Kenyan shillings in under 26 minutes just before the end of Uhuru tenure is deeply troubling. It is outrageous that these two so-called handshake partners were actually partners in crime. The controller of budgets has confirmed that four billion was released to pay maize millers from subsidies. Yet the maize millers never received the money. This was yet another act of shameless theft by the Handshake brothers. The political hypocrisy by the Azmio leaders witnessed in the recent past is traumatizing to Kenyans who are facing hard economic times. As if stealing tens of billions within minutes is not enough, the thieves are not even courteous enough to pay taxes. It is painful to learn that the fuel and maize subsidies under the handshake regime were a conduit to brazenly steal money for Raila's campaigns. Intelligence further unfolds how the money was used afterwards to buy maize and hoard just to create artificial food shortage. Odinga and his friends are responsible for pilfering public coffers to eat dry bone. We demand that the handshake regime account for the monies they stole because they used Okuru Yatan to steal the money to fund Raila's presidential campaign and brutalize Kenyans who demanded accountability. The Kenyan people deserve leaders who are honest and accountable, not those who use their position to enrich themselves at the expense of the people. As Mio led leader, uh, led Raila, as Mio led by Raila Odinga, have planned protests tomorrow. But before they do so, they must come out clean on where they took the money. They must also show Kenyans where they hid the maize and when they are ready to release the maize. Tuataka kabla mandamano kesho, watu watu anena mandamano wakuje na gunia, raila weke ile maindi ambaye ameficha, katika godowns, wapatia wale watu anandamana maindi warudi na nyumbani waache kudanganya wa Kenya kwamba kuna maandamano ili hali yao ndio wameficha mahindi Kenya hii yote and we are going to expose those godowns mali wameficha mahindi ambayo walitumia hiyo 15 billion kununua mahindi yote Kenya kuficha ndio bei ya gharama iende juu gharama ya mahindi iende juu ndio wauze mahindi hiyo kama gharama eh, eh, imeenda juu so we are going to expose those godowns in the next 7 days Kenyans are not giving into the uh, continuous theatrics that are meant to distract them from knowing the truth about all time loot that has messed this country. As government, we want to applaud the boldness of Madam Nyakango to reveal the unimaginable dirt. We also want to call upon any state officer or office holder that was coerced or intimidated to sign or illegally transact public monies to come out and confess. We demand that Raila and his friends take responsibility for their actions and repay the money they have stolen. We also ask Kenyans not to be hoodwinked and used by selfish leaders who advance their por uh, uh, parochial egoistic interests. We urge the anti-graft agencies to hastily commence investigations in light of the revelations by controller of budgets and unearth all the corrupt leaders and their accomplices. We also demand an audit of all the capital projects undertaken by the rogue handshake regime in view of ascertaining whether public funds were expended on private business. The investigations should not be limited to pilferage 
of public funds, but deliberate collapse of institutions, repatriation of looted money stashed on offshore accounts, and suspicious tax exemptions by compromised officers of Kenya Revenue Authority. To crush impunity, we demand the investigations. Um, uh, we demand that the investigations extend to those that misused public uh, funds and uh, public facilities, ordered extrajudicial killings, forced disappearances, and wanton destruction of livelihood through a weaponized criminal justice system. All the culpable public officers who are used to steal from Kenyans must face the full force of law and no amount of mandamano or cajoling, cajoling will save them from the wrath of Wanainchi, an independent authority constitutionally mandated to execute their mandate. Kenyans want food, not mandamano. Kenyans deserve justice, not mandamano. So we are telling 